So I'm here with Simon Elliott, who heads up the digital marketing practice at um, Atos Consulting. Uh, Simon, I was, I was reading uh, an interesting um, article on nextpracticeadvisory.com about building successful online communities. And uh, as someone who obviously works in the corporate world and has seen many communities set up and, and wither and die, I'm very interesting to hear more on your thoughts of um, how successful online communities are, are built and sustained. Yeah, that's a, that's a very, very good question, Oliver. Um, the, the important thing when you think about the difference between a successful online community and an unsuccessful community is the relationship between three important factors. Now, we're all members of lots of different communities, and quite often you may notice that you will join a community which has got some uh, pretty, let's take a community like 4chan, it's got some pretty rough technology, it's probably not got a great user interface, and yet it's a massive, thriving community full of millions of people. Um, now, the, if you look at the meta level, at how a community like that works, or, or how an internal community within a corporation works, you find that there's actually a relationship between three different factors. And those factors are, quite simply, the content, which is in that online community, and that could be the articles, the contributions, the, the documents. The community of people itself who, who consume that content and who create that content. And the third important factor is the technology which delivers the, the, the sort of communication between the members of that community. Well, that's quite interesting because from a lay perspective, I, I always assumed that because communities of, uh, uh, in work often die, yeah. I always assumed that that was simply because there weren't enough people to generate enough ideas to make it, it thrive, if you like. I yeah. thought the technology was pretty, pretty much irrelevant uh, to, how, to how successful an online community would be. Well, the, 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 te the technology is a very important factor. And th these three things are actually in a, in a virtuous circle. Yeah, to use very consultant speak there. So you, You're forgiven. Yeah, I, I, I do apologise. But you, you have a virtuous circle. So imagine you start off with a bunch of content. Uh, you know, a small thing. You're kicking off a discussion forum. So you put a few topics up there, a little piece of uh, your own intellectual capital. Then you invite some people to contribute and they come along. And what happens is that the... As the people come to the content, they actually place a demand on the technology. Now, within a, within a, um, a product which is out there on the internet, the, the demand could be because of load. You know, they could literally, quite literally hit the site so hard that the site isn't responsive enough and doesn't provide them the user experience which they need in order for them to contribute. Yeah? So, what, what you have to do is you have to look at how the community is using that site and the demand which they have of that. Mm. Yeah? Does, sometimes it's features. They might say, well, we really need the ability to reply to comments or do trackbacks or, or do some kind of integration with social media in order for that community to grow. But sometimes it's just something very simple. Um, particularly, find this with corporate communication products, is that the, the user interface is pretty sucky so you have to yeah. you know you have to have a decent experience for that user to keep them coming back and to keep them engaging with the content and importantly you have to adjust that over time and you have to monitor it so it's a very operational rather than project based way of looking at how to build that community funnily enough like any IT system that we're used to uh, used to creating in the corporate world you have to take into account the technology piece that's interesting so do you not subscribe to the view then that I had previously that the um the chances of success in an online community is directly related to the potential audience that will be interested in that material. Are you saying that yeah. a, a very vi vital uh, um, community could be made by a relatively small number of uh, potential? Yeah, well, that's, yeah that's, that's very much the case. And particularly when, you look at, well, particularly when you look at some things where the content is very important. So say, for example, um, and, I, and I picked this up from a, a chap called Clay Sharkey, was uh, following the feed for Pluto on the uh, on Wikipedia. Well, there's actually a very small number of contributors who are who are provide, adding content into that. Yeah, and then there's other things which are more more technical, like the, the Three Rivers Institute, where you have a very small number of contributors, but a very large number of people within the community or consuming that con that content. And when they when they do look at the content. 
they, they, they tweet about it, they tell other people about it. So in, in effect, they are members of the community and are supporting their community. So your main message is content, uh, community and technology are three factors that work in concert, if you like. Correct. In yeah. order to create an online community. Correct. Uh, people can find out more about this on nextpracticeadvisory.com. Yep. Simon, for now, thanks very much. No, no worries, Oliver. Thank you very much.